name I create here say 12 if I create 12 I'll get this window this window managing this window I want to treat it as an optional step or yeah I want to treat it as an optional step if this window doesn't appear I want to proceed to the insert order so if this window appears I want him to click on optional step right that is what I like to manage so let us see how to do that so first is I need to record with the optional window screen record the full event then we'll convert it into an optional step so I record now window application I am going to record click on record in this record flight reservation I choose 12 12 13 in Frankfurt Denver flight ok name now tickets I am going to type 12 if I click on insert order I am going to click if I click I may get this window I am handling this window I am now changing that to now 10 insert now it will not appear that window might not have appeared I clear it stop it it is may not be a right example but I will just want to know how to use the optional step so this step insert order click after this this all these steps up to insert order again all these steps to be managed only if this insert order if this window appears dialog flight reservation appears otherwise I don't want to manage it with optional step so for all these three steps I use now optional step I am not sure whether it is optional step or option step option step dot window it will give an error I don't have to worry about option step dot option step dot so option step I'm going to trigger only if I don't get this if I get this window I want to execute otherwise I don't want to execute whether it is option step option step dot I have to check we'll see when it makes an error we can understand now it will fail optional step if it is a wrong step he will fail if it is a right step he will pass then the other two steps will fail so now he tries to execute line number 8 now he is centering 12 insert order is clicking so he is getting into optional step optional step dot is the right command option step is the wrong command so I now clear those I stop it now optional step it's a single word and dot is mandatory so optional step single word dot is mandatory I now clear it I re base state I maintain I start my run when I start the run now I am doing with optional step effective second time I will change the ticket number to actual that is valid number now first run it is with invalid then those steps are to be executed second run when I make I will make that with valid ticket so 12 it's an invalid so optional step is valid so he triggers optional steps he changes the tickets he clicks on insert order again he does the job now if I am into the valid data if I am going into the valid data I will go here 0 there is valid data now when the valid data appears after insert click this steps doesn't appear 
that is I don't have to click on OK button I don't have to reset the set 10 I don't have to click on insert order again in that case I now run the script see how it manages that watch your execution marker execution marker is an indicator that you have your script debugger installed now optional step also requires script debugger so flights it works now he is trying to type in name tickets now ticket is a valid because of that that step doesn't appear He clicked on insert order also. Now that step doesn't appear. He waits for that step. He doesn't send an error message. He waits for the default synchronization timeout. 20 seconds. Now he moves to the next step. He doesn't make an error now. He moves to the next step. And then he now manages the data. So insert order is disabled now. So because of that he might give an error message at line number 12. Because it is disabled now that object is found. Since object is found he is trying to manage it. So you have to use conditional statement. Optional step is not the right event here. But you notice now this 10 is a event which he manages without any problem. If the same thing if you do it for update order you get the right result now I'll clear it I'll make it for the update order optional step I'll make it for update order there you don't have to worry about so I click on activate there it is valid checkbox I give first invalid order number 895 it's an invalid order number so I get this if it is invalid I like to edit this that ok button I click then update order I edit I will give a valid number valid number is say 153 I say ok ok is clicked now I update this order update this order change the value updated the order base state I stop my order now you can notice now this open order this is an invalid order this 895 is the invalid order if this invalid order appears he clicked on ok button after that this flight reservation click is an optional step once he clicks it he goes to the again these two are conditional statements so it was the same issue you will face because this edit is valid if I ignore this after click he tries to set this object not available object not available so he passes fine so optional step dot if this exists he manages otherwise he doesn't manage optional step dot I change here the tickets for the next run I change the tickets now this is a valid candidate for optional step now I make it as a right value I enter a valid value here instead of 195 I put it 153 it's a valid value I now run the script so we have now made script to use optional step now it is a valid statement. Let us run the script. It works. Now he tries to edit. He is now editing the right order number. So clicking on OK is fine. Now he doesn't get that window. So optional step will try to check that window. That window doesn't appear. So he skipped that step. Goes to the step 8. Step 8 also is not valid. Step 9 also is not valid. Those objects are not visible now. When the object is visible, he executes that step. When the object is not visible, he doesn't execute the step. 
the mistake that we did in the previous one is the objects were visible because of that he is changed the tickets as well in this case the objects are not visible so he skipped that test moves to the next step only thing disadvantage is he waits for definite time so again he comes up with error message because that object is for him the dialogue is there but object is disabled that means it is visible for him as per QTP is concerned so he sends the error message so optional step you need to apply it at the appropriate place so this is what optional step is all about optional step will work only in case that object is present otherwise he skip the test before the object is triggered in this case 8 dialog open order is still present as per him it's a available so because of that he says win edit is a disabled one he is not able to execute so this is about optional step any queries let me know there are good examples I suddenly don't remember that example optional step doesn't return a value since it doesn't return a value I cannot use if else condition then I don't need optional step if I use if then else we have already covered using if else as negative statement in our exercise 1 there are two parts exercise 1 part 1 part 2 under exercise 1 we covered how to manage a negative flow optional step is basically a negative flow we covered under that how to manage it right 